So continuing to field more questions here for USMLE, Martin asks from the Telegram group a rather specific question. He graduated medical school three years ago. He feels his basics are very weak. He would like to sit step one within six months and preferably all USMLEs within a year. How do we get your score up as much as possible? Okay, so I can answer this question. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Help grow this channel. Share with one of your friends prepping for USMLE. Help bring awareness to this channel. Hit the like button. Hit the bell if you want notifications. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. Link is down below. And find us on Telegram. Recently created a Telegram group and channel. The links are down below. Now how about I address the fucking question, which is from Martin about he's three years out from med school. <clears throat> he's three years graduated med school. He feels his basics are very weak. He wants to sit step one within a year and preferably all the US similes within a year from now. So how do we get your score up as much as possible? Look, it goes without saying that this is a very broad discussion that requires uh, convergence and discussion based on your history of prep. Uh, have you taken any practice assessments? Have you done any readings whatsoever? Okay, there's a lot to discuss. However, if we're literally talking about just you know absolutely nothing, and you want to sit step one within six months, and you haven't studied anything in a long time, uh, what do we do? The answer is we want you starting on a QBank, preferably UWorld right now. We want you doing 40 questions per day in tutor mode random. And that also is a broad statement because we could potentially calibrate that up to doing 60 or more questions. But generally, when students have a weak foundation, we want to start with 40 questions in tutor mode random, okay? And see how you go. I want you spending a minimum of six to eight hours per day on questions, okay? So if it takes you six to eight hours to get through 40 questions, which is normal, by the way, then we can probably keep you on 40 per day. And I want you reading my PDFs, my free PDFs uh, in the evenings, okay? Following questions. If you're able to get through the 40 questions pretty quickly. You feel in reality, you say, oh, actually, Michael, uh, my foundation isn't as weak as I thought it was. We can essentially titrate you upwards to do 60 uh, or 80 per day. But I would say as a broad general type of uh, assessment, we could, for a student who's generally weak foundation and needs revival, we would have you do 40 per day in tutor mode random, and you can do my PDFs in the evening. And that's how you're going to be going through UWorld right now. And then we're going to be inc incorporating the NBMEs uh, forms 20 through 30 as you get closer to your exam. And in terms of when you sit practice assessments, that's up for discussion. I'm trying to make a very generalized clip here. But when you ask about revival, okay, how are you potentially going to sit the step one within six months when you know literally zero and you graduated med, med school a long time ago? You need to just go uh, boom, boom, boom through a QBank, okay? You need to have momentum that way. And also just using my PDFs, and then we'll incorporate NBMEs a bit later, okay? And then for step two, that's a separate discussion. Uh, we'll have you go through the clinical mastery series forms and also the NBMEs for step two as well. A lot we can discuss, okay? So obviously I'm gonna make more content, you know the deal. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.